Hello everyone, my name is Karishma and I usually do story time and craft activities at Melzy Library. Thank you so much for joining me online today with Surrey Libraries. I hope you're all having a lovely day. One of my favourite children's book series is called A Little Princess by Tony Ross. There's so many different books in this series. Here's some that I like. There's I Want a Bedtime Story. I want my dad. I want snow. I want a bunny. I want a boyfriend. I want a party. I want my tooth. And I feel sick. My favourite book is called I Want a Bedtime Story. I wonder what your favourite is. Could you comment down below so that I can find out? I absolutely love the yellow crown that the little princess wears on her head. I think it makes her look really fancy. So in today's video, I've decided to show you all how to make a really special crown. You can make your crown using coloured paper and you can decorate it however you like. The crown that I'm going to be showing you all how to make is so similar to the one in the story because it's yellow. I've decorated this crown using lots of gems and glitter to make it look even more fancy. Clap your hands if you would like to see another crown that I've made. Three, two, one. Doesn't this crown look so fancy and stylish? Let's see another crown. Three, two, one. Wow, here's a blue crown. This makes me look so cool. Who wants to see another crown? You know what to do. Three, two, one. Wow, how fancy do I look? This crown's my favourite because I use lots of sparkly and glittery paper to make it. I wonder what colour you're going to use. Clap your hands to see the last crown. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, wow. Just look at all the sparkles and glitter on this crown. I literally look like a princess, don't I? Could you comment down below which colour crown was your favourite? It can be any colour you like, or it might be all of them. I can't wait to show you all how to make a crown so that you can pretend that your house is a royal palace and you can walk around and look so fancy. So please do try and make one of these crowns. I think you're going to make all your friends and family want to make one as well. So, I really hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Here's what you need. One piece of A4 paper. I've chosen to use yellow paper today. You can choose any colour you want or you can use white paper and colour your crown in using lots of colourful pens, pencils or crayons. You will also need a pair of scissors, a black felt tip marker and a glue stick. I've managed to find some lovely gem stickers and glitter, which I think will give my crown a royal look. If you don't have any of these, then don't worry, because you can just use paper, cut out a circle, colour it in, and draw a little pattern inside. First of all, let's draw some really big zigzags across the yellow piece of paper. So about three zigzags. So let's start by going down like this and then back up Yay, we did it! Well done everyone! Your crown is going to look amazing. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Now turn your paper to the side like this. And now let's draw a line near the left hand side using your black felt tip marker. So you don't need a ruler. I think the crown will look so cute if we draw it all by ourselves like this. Excellent! 
Now get your pair of scissors and cut out our lovely crown shape. So try and cut a little bit away from the black felt tip marker so that you can still see the outline, but not too far away. So like this. Lovely work everyone, how are you all doing? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Now, with the paper that we've just cut off, we're going to line up our crown like this. So your crown might look different to mine, and that's completely fine. Just make sure that you're enjoying the activity and that you're practicing your drawing and cutting out skills. So, put this piece on top, and do you see how they overlap with each other? Fabulous! Okay, so get your glue stick and put a little bit of glue on the piece of paper. So like this. Excellent! Now put your other piece of paper on top and stick it down. So try and get the corners to line up with each other. Fabulous work everyone, well done! Now, continue drawing the line all the way across the bottom with your black felt tip marker. Great job everyone! I can't wait to see what your crown will look like. Now, get your pair of scissors and cut the bottom piece off. Okay, fabulous. Now, get your black felt tip marker. We need to continue drawing the border on the top of our crown. Here we go. And I'm just going to trim off this little bit at the top. Excellent work everyone! I really hope that you're all doing okay. If you're feeling confused then don't forget that you can just ask a grown-up to support you and then you can carry on by yourself. Now time for the fun part. Let's get decorating! You can put any coloured gems on your spikes or you can decorate your spikes in a different way. I'm sure whatever you choose to do will be a great choice. So make sure you send us photos of your crowns so that I can see. I love decorating. Here I go.
fabulous decorating everyone, well done. I can't wait to see what your crown looks like. One last step before you all look fancy with your amazing crown. So, get your glue stick and put a strip of glue on either the right hand side or the left hand side of your crown. So you can decide where you want to put your glue. So, I'm going to put my glue on the left hand side because it's a little bit easier because I've decorated right to the end on my right hand side. So, here we go. Okay, so now fold your crown around, so just like this, and then stick it together, just like this. So push really hard so that the crown sticks together. Ah, uh, thank you so much for watching this craft video and I hope you all managed to make your own crown. They're so cool, aren't they? I think you're going to look so fancy when you wear yours. Make sure you get grown up to take a picture of it and leave it in the comments below. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye everyone!